<clears throat> so welcome here everyone to your 45 minutes Pilates session today. Um, let me just move my mat a little bit. There we go. So today is going to be all about the core. <laughs> all about stabilizing this area because when the core is really strong we tend to have better health of the back and better health of posture in general that means we're not going to have so many sore shoulders or sore necks so really really important to um, stabilize and to get lots of strength into our core area anyway let's go ahead come into your seat and just roll your shoulders back and down a few times reach up through the crown of the head and root down through your sitting bones and then allow the palms to face up towards the sky. Take a nice deep breath in, sending the arms to the sky. Exhale, arms all the way back down. And again, inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale, all the way down. And two more. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, let it go. And the last time, inhale, send your arms to the sky. Hold it there for a moment. See if you can interlace the fingers, reaching all the way up. Come over to your left a little bit, back to the center, reach up and over to your right, gorgeous. Back to the center, come up and over to your left, back to center, and the last time, up and over to your right, and back to center, beautiful. Go ahead, reach your arms out, flip your palms, and really push those two invisible walls away. Bless you, I hope you've got the space at home to <laughs> reach your arms out. That's it, take another breath in here. And as you exhale, just surrender your hands down. Drop your left ear to your left shoulder. And drop your chin to your chest. Inhale, right ear, right shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest. And you could even just close your eyes. And gently just roll from side to side here. Just gently releasing any tension around the neck area. Completely letting go of any tightness here in the shoulders, upper spine. And then the next time the right ear hits the right shoulder, hold it there. Go ahead, reach your left arm out, and then lower the left fingertips far away from the body, down to the earth. So can you feel the more you reach those left fingertips away, the deeper stretch you're going to get? Maybe reach your right arm up and place it onto that left ear as well to intensify the stretch. Beautiful. And then maybe create tiny little circles through that left hand. Wonderful. One more breath here. And now release your hands down, drop your chin to your chest, other side, left ear to left shoulder, reaching that right arm out and reaching the right fingertips far away from the body, as far away from the body as you can and then reach them down. Go ahead, stay here. I'll reach your left arm up and over, grab hold of that right ear. And then maybe tiny little circles already now engaging that core ever so slightly, that's it. Beautiful. One more breath in here. And as you exhale, release your hands down, drop your chin to your chest. Beautiful. And just place your hands to your heart for a moment. Just really thanking yourself for coming on to your mat today, creating that time out just for you. So whatever is going on in your life, see if you can mentally just leave it behind. Leave all that baggage outside of your room. So wherever you are now, just allow your space around your mat, inside your heart, inside your mind, to be calm and serene, for in this moment right here, just right now, everything is okay. Nothing you need to do, nothing to analyze, nothing to defend. Just breathe and enjoy yourself. <laughs> Taking a deep breath in here. And as you exhale, bowing down to the heart that guided you here today. And gently blink your eyes open and raise your gaze. Okay, lovely. So we're going to come in to lie onto our back, setting up for our first exercise, coming into some sit-ups. So coming to lie on your back now, have your feet hip distance apart, your heels are right below the knees. And then go ahead, place your hands onto your lower belly. As you inhale, take a breath into the belly. As you exhale, allow the belly to relax. So just breathing first. Inhale deeply into the belly. Exhale, allow the belly to relax. One more. Nice deep breath into the belly. Exhale, allow that belly to relax. Now keep the belly naturally going down towards the spine and the spine down towards the earth. Keep the belly there throughout your practice. So don't breathe in and out through the belly anymore. Instead, allow your hands to rise up either side of your rib cage. All ten fingers pointing inwards towards each other. 
On your next inhale, instead of breathing into the belly, go ahead and breathe into your ribs. So the ribs are expanding out sideways, away from each other as you inhale. As you exhale, ribs gently close down towards each other. And again, inhale deeply into the ribs, allowing them to expand apart. Exhale, the ribs gently draw close towards one another. And again, nice deep full breath into the ribs, allow them to expand. And as you exhale, completely let it go, fingertips draw back towards each other. One more breath in here, allowing the ribs to expand. And as you exhale, allowing them to go back towards each other. Beautiful. Now throughout your practice today, throughout our Pilates session, keep the navel, navel drawing down towards the floor, belly button drawing in and down, and only breathe into your ribs to the best of your ability. Now release your hands down by your side and let's get ready for a normal curl up sit up. So take a breath in. Exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, just curl up a little. Inhale here. Exhale, curl up a little bit more. One more inhale. And as you exhale, curl it up, hold it here. Flip your palms down and let's pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, lower back down. And again, inhale. Exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, curl up. Shh. Inhale here. Exhale, curl up a little higher. Beautiful. Flip your palms down to the earth and again pulse it here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hold it here and exhale, lower back down. Take another breath in. Then as you exhale, curl it up. Shh. Inhale, expanding your ribs. Exhale, squeeze up a little bit more. Nice. Flip your palms down and push for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Inhale. Exhale, lower back down. Final set. Inhale. Exhale, tuck your chin to your chest. Curl up. Shh. Inhale here. Exhale, curl a little bit more. Palms facing down. Push it here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hold it, hold it. And as you exhale, release everything down. On your next inhale, extend your legs up to the sky. Take a moment just to circle your feet one way. And then circle your feet in the opposite direction. Beautiful. And then take your feet together. Turn your toes out. Heels are together. Squeeze your heels together, your calves together, knees and inner thighs. Gorgeous. Now point your toes up towards the sky. And then flex your toes down towards the earth. And again, point your toes up. And then flex them down to the earth. Twice more. Point them up. Flex them down, one more, point them up, and flex them down, beautiful. From there, bring your knees to your chest, just give yourself a hug, working from side to side a little. Take another breath in. And as you exhale, go ahead, come to lie down once again, setting up for our second round of um, stomach exercises. The heels are right below the knees. And this time, extend your arms out sideways like a T position. As you inhale, send your left arm over to the right, curl up. Exhale back to center. Inhaling to the left. And as you exhale, come back into your T position. Other side now. Inhale, right arm to the left. Exhale, center. Inhale to the right. Exhale, lie down into T. And again. Inhaling left hand to right. Exhale, center. Inhale to the left. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, right hand to left. Exhale, center. Inhale, right. Exhale, curl back down. One more round. So inhale, left arm to right. Curl and lift. Exhale, center. Inhale to the left. Exhale, release. Final round. Send your right hand to the left. Exhale, center. Good work. Inhale to the right. Exhale, come all the way back down. Beautiful. Once again, reaching your legs to the sky. Circle those angles. Circle them the other way as well. Once again, take your heels together, turn your toes out and just point and flex your feet a few times. Wonderful. Keep stretching those legs, engaging the core. Beautiful. Nice. Now from there, keep your feet turned out. That means heel together and the toes are facing away from each other. And then point your toes. Send your arms down by your side. Start to lower the right leg down towards the earth. Just hover it a few inches above the floor and come all the way back up. 
other side, sending that left leg down towards the earth, hover it above the floor and come all the way back up. Beautiful. Keep going in your own time and remember, if this is feeling too intense or if you're having any kind of pain in your lower back, please don't take your legs too close to the floor. You could even take them down just 25 degrees. They don't have to be all the way down hovering above the floor. So nice and easy. Another variation as well is that you can place your hands underneath your sitting bones and that will give you a little more stability. Good work everyone. Keep breathing. Nice work you guys. We're going to take another eight. So in your own time, just take eight more exercises here, eight more movements in your own time. Nice strong breaths here. Really allowing that beautiful core to engage, building strong, beautiful, lean stomach muscles. Beautiful. Making you feel strong in life and directional in life. <laughs> Wonderful. Let's take another three. Last two. One more. Good. Keep your legs up there. Take your heels together, toes out. Just flex your feet and point your feet. Flex your feet and point your feet. Good. Twice more. Flex and point. Last one. Flex and point. Go ahead. Bend your knees to your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. Well done. Just rocking from side to side a little. Gorgeous. Now go ahead. Extend your legs back up into the sky one last time. Palms are facing down. Now. Make sure your angles are right above your hips. Even if you need to micro bend your knees, that's fine. But try and keep your angles above your hips. Palms are into the floor. Relax your shoulders, drop your chin to your chest. On your next inhale, squeeze your core and exhale, release. That means your heels, your feet are ever so slightly going to lift up to the sky and release. Lift up and release. But don't get too obsessed about how high those legs are going. Much more interesting to see how much you can contract your core now and release. Contract and release. That's it. Beautiful. So try and make the movement as tiny as possible. Wonderful. You won't be able to do it very much. If this is too intense, please just bend your knees and you can do the same thing with your knees bent, trying to keep the knees more or less above the hips. Otherwise, we have another five. Come for four. Come for three. For two. One more. Hold. Release it down, turn your toes out, heels together, toes out, point your feet, flex your feet, point your feet, flex your feet, twice more, point your feet, flex your feet, last one, gorgeous, bring your knees to your chest, give yourself a hug, rock from side to side a little, very nice, take a breath in, take a breath out, gorgeous, now bring your knees together, take a breath in, as you exhale, lift and squeeze, take the forehead up towards the knees, beautiful. Now, if you are pregnant, please just lower down and just lift up nice and easy. A little bit of a squeeze, but not too much. If you're not pregnant, to lift up. Take your hands behind your head. On your next exhale, send your right elbow to the left knee and back to center. Left elbow, right knee, back to center. And again, right elbow, left knee, back to center. Left elbow, right knee, back to center. Keep going here, nice and easy. Keep drawing the navel back to the spine every time you send those legs forward. Keep the breath going in through the nose. And if you want to do the real Pilates breath, it's out through the teeth. So inhale, exhale, shh, inhale, exhale, shh, beautiful, inhale, exhale, shh. Let's take four more. Inhale, exhale, shh, inhale, exhale, shh. Last one, inhale. And exhale, gorgeous. Bring your knees to your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. This time, let's rock and roll up and down the spine if your spine fills up for it. So inhale up. Exhale, we lower. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lower. Maybe without the hands this time. So inhale, come up. Lift. Exhale, tuck your chin to your chest. Lower. Last one. Inhale, curl up. And exhale, we lower. Now this time, let's just come up into seated. Well done, everyone. From here, let's roll over onto hands and knees, planting the wrists below the shoulders, spread your fingers nice and wide, and planting the knees underneath your hips, coming into a normal cat cow. As we inhale, we look up towards the sky, opening the chest. As you exhale, round the spine, let it go. And again, inhale, we look all the way up, heart comes forward. As you exhale, round and release, let it go. One more. Inhale to open, 
exhale to release. Beautiful. And then from there, come back into neutral. Very nice. From here, let's start to extend your left leg back, lift up through left inner thigh, send your right arm forward. Right palm is facing the left hand side. Beautiful. Wonderful. Now start to see if you could extend your right arm all the way back and all the way forward. And again, send your right arm back. Keep tucking your chin, sorry, keep tucking your tailbone under and keep drawing the lower ribs towards one another. Good. Let's do it three more times. Keep lifting up through left inner thigh. Gorgeous work. Last one. Now extend forward, bend your left knee, bring your left knee to the right elbow or all the way to the forehead. Inhale, extend out. Remember, if you're pregnant, don't go too deep. Very nice. Let's take two more movements here. Draw it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, draw it in. Beautiful. And extend it out. Hold it there for one more breath. Place your hand on knee down. Take a breath in. Exhale out. Good work, everyone. Other side. Now, so extend your right leg back and up. Try and have your right heel in line with your right sitting bone. Tuck your tailbone under. Extend your left arm forward. Gorgeous. Now extend that left arm back and send it forward. Send it back and send it forward. Nice. Take three more times here. All the way back. All the way forward. One more. Wonderful. Now start to bend your right knee. Bring it either towards your left elbow or to the nose. Inhale, we extend. Exhale, we draw it in. Good work, girls. Inhale, take it out and forward. Draw it in. Last two. Inhale. Exhale. Final one. Inhale. And as you exhale, go ahead, lower down. Normal cat cow. Inhale, we look up. Exhale, we round. Inhale, we look up. Exhale, we round. And the last time, inhale, look up. And exhale, round. Gorgeous. From here, we're going to come to lie on the left-hand side. So if you need to readjust your screen so you can still see me, do that now. So you're going to come to lie on your left side body. So just making sure that you can see me. And then see if you can have your um, arm, left arm in line with your left ear. Place your right hand down. So your whole body is one long line. Shoulders in line with the hips, hips in line with the heels. And place your right fingertips in front of you. Gorgeous. Now go ahead and just bend both knees. Place your knees in line with your hips. And now lift your feet off the floor. Keep lifting your feet as much as you can now. Gorgeous. We're going to start to engage that right glute. So start to lift your right knee to the sky and lower. Lift it up and lower. So just nice and easy in your own time. Keep your toes touching. That's it. And also almost imagine that you're resisting sending that right knee up. So I'm not just kind of kicking it up. I'm resisting, pushing, pushing, pushing against an imaginary hand and then resisting coming back down. And again, I resist coming up. I know we're slowing it right down. And I resist coming back down. Beautiful. Keep going here, ladies. Also see if you could engage that left side body. So notice that there's a little gap underneath my side body and the floor and that's not just because I'm crazy skinny because I'm not I'm, it just means that I'm not relaxing that left side body down so really draw your left shoulder blade in and under so there's a little gap underneath that left side there we go good work let's just take another four here hope you're getting warm another three that's it another two one more lift and hold beautiful extend that right leg forward to me and bring it all the way back. That's it. And again, send it forward and all the way back. And again, we send it forward. Some cool angles, ladies, and <laughs> take it back. That's it. Take it forward and all the way back. Good work. Twice more. Wonderful. And last one. Next time that right leg comes back, hold it there and just lift it up, 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 up. Beautiful. Engage your core. Five, four, three, two, one, send it all the way forward, hold it there, lift it up for five, four, three, two, and one, bring your feet together, lift that right knee even higher, 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 eek, and let it go, well done. From there, let's just sit up, 
and I'm bringing my right leg in front. So just notice that it won't look good on your screens. My right leg is in front. That means you probably will look like you're having your left. Right leg in front and just come forward. Just stretch through those glutes for a moment. Just reaching forward. Ah, just letting go. Take five slow breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, really creating space in your body. Inhale for three. Exhale, release into that space. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Deepest breath in. Deepest breath out. <sighs> Gorgeous. Let's come all the way back up into seated. Before we go to the other side, just send your right hand behind your left arm across and just take a little twist. That's it. So you're going to twist opposite me. That's completely fine. Take another two breaths here. One more. Gorgeous. Look forward to me. And let's come to lie on the other side body. So we're going to lie down now on the right side, reaching your right arm forward, sending your left hand in front of your body. Try and have your shoulders in line, your hips in line. So my shoulders are facing forward to you, hips are facing forward to you. And then bend both knees. Have your knees in line with your hips. Go ahead and lift your feet as far up into the sky as you can. Left fingertips down. Now slide your right shoulder blade back and down so there's a little gap underneath your side body. Gorgeous. Go ahead, reach your left knee high and then lower. That's it. And again, lift it high and lower. Now remember, I'm still engaging my core super strong for the abdominals. I am still keeping both hip bones facing forward, so I'm not allowing myself to open up too much. I know I'm super exaggerating, but you get the drift. There we go, very nice. And then also, I'm resisting coming up. Remember that imaginary hand coming up? And I'm resisting coming down, so it's not easy to go up and down, nice and slowly. You can use your left hand, if you like, to increase um, the weight, so it's a little bit easier to understand that there's that resistance. <laughs> very nice, beautiful, pushing against your own strength. Very nice. We're gonna take another four here. Another three, that's it, nice and easy, nice and slowly. Another two. Oh my God, our, our flat is so hot. And I, I don't know about you ladies, one more. Next time we come up, we're gonna hold it here. Push, 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 beautiful. Extend that left leg forward to me now. Extend it forward, hold it there. Keep lifting that right bottom foot up. Send that left leg all the way back. And again, send it forward, reach and hold. Bring it all the way back. Reach far, far, far away. Keep the hip bones directly above one another. Send it forward. Send that left leg all the way back. Once more, send it forward. Send it all the way back. We're gonna hold it here now. Now pulse it up for five, four. And again, there's resistance. Resist, coming up, resist. That's it, for two and one. Send it all the way forward. Again, lift and hold a little bit more. Resist for five. For four, for three, for two, lift and hold. Bring your feet together, lift that left knee higher, 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 higher. Lift the side wedge up, squeeze, 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 and release, well done. Left hand down, come all the way up into seated. This time your left leg needs to be in front. So even though I'm gonna look opposite you because I'm mirroring you, left leg needs to be in front. Fold forward, relax those glutes. Five deep breaths here. Just creating some space in the body. And when we create space in the body, we somehow also create space in the mind. So it's a two for one. <laughs> two more breaths. One more breath. Beautiful. On your inhale, come all the way up. Left hand behind you, send your right arm up. And just taking a twist to that other side. So right hand comes across, twisting, that's it. And twice more breaths here. Hmm. One more breath in. One more breath out. <sighs> Good. Looking forward to me. Let's come back into seated this time. So unfold your legs. We're going to come up into Navasana boat pose. So yes, thank you. Change your screens around. <laughs> so from here, grab hold at the back of your thighs, lifting up through your chest. I'm just going to wait for everyone. There we go. Good work. Lifting up through the legs now, very nice. Allow the palms to face up. Nice, big, happy smiles, that's it. If you've got issues with your lower back at the moment, just place your hands here, elbows back. Wonderful, wonderful. Try and lift up, maybe send your legs to the sky. 
Very nice. So wherever you are, just a sense of the heart reaching up, shoulders back. Nice big smile. Good work there. Beautiful. Bye bye. Four, three, two. Good work, all of you. On one, lower the feet down, hands behind you. Fingertips pointing towards your buttocks, elbows back, lift up through the hips, reverse tabletop. Lift everything up, squeeze your glutes, just looking up towards the sky. Keep lifting those hips a little bit higher. Good, one more breath here. Go ahead and lower the hips back down. We're going to take one more Navasana, so either see if you can bend your knees and just hug your knees to your chest, this is already enough. Or lean back a little, lifting up through the legs. Maybe extending them out, give yourself permission, really just squeeze and hold, find that power. Nice big smiles here, good work ladies. Another five, lift a little higher. Four, three, two, one more. Lower the feet down, hands behind you, fingertips pointing towards your buttocks. Lift through your chest, lift your hips, open up through the heart. Beautiful, keep hugging your knees towards each other. Send your knees forward towards me. Lift your hips a little bit higher. That's it. One more breath. And as you exhale, lower the hips all the way down. Beautiful. From here, we're going to come up into standing. So you could just stand up if you want a little more. Cross your ankles. Step back into a downward facing dog. And from your down dog, simply walk into the center of your mat. Bend your knees and let's roll all the way up into standing. Rolling your shoulders back and down. So just finding a little bit of a balance here today. Take your weight into your left foot and start to lift your right knee up. Right knee lifts up. Good. So if you want a little more help, place your hands to your waist. If you want to challenge yourself, send your arms out. Beautiful. And maybe bend that left knee and stretch that left knee. Bending down and stretch. Good work. Bending down, try and keep your shoulders in line, hips in line, that's it. Twice more, that's it. One more, lift, 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 lift. Bring that right knee to your chest, yes, good work. And let it go. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Take your weight into your right leg now. And bring that left leg up. Shoulders in line, hips in line. Again, if you want a little more help, hands to your waist, otherwise arms out. And just find your balance. Staying here, this is already enough. Or as you exhale, bend your right knee. Inhale, we stretch. Exhale, we bend. Inhale, we stretch. Twice more, nice and slow. Working those angles, good. One more, bending down. Take it all the way up, lift, 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 lift. And release, good work, arms up. Exhale, arms by your side. Allow your big toes to touch now, coming into the sideways. So again, really stabilizing the core now. Send your arms up. Keep your shoulders in line, your hips in line. That means all four facing forward. Reach up and over to your right hand side. Sorry, to your left hand side. Tuck your tailbone under, really engage the core. Draw your lower ribs together. We're going to have a tendency to send that right shoulder forward or back too much. Trying to have everything in line. So both shoulders are facing you, my hips are facing you. Good. Reach a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Squeeze your core, squeeze your glutes. Big smile. That's it. And come back up. Exhale, let it go. Other side, inhale, arms up. Exhale, tuck your tailbone under. Reach up and over to your right hand side. Send your hips out to the left. Keep breathing. Beautiful. Tuck your tailbone under. Close the lower ribs up. You ladies are looking amazing. Nice big breaths here, big smiles, that's it. One more, go a little bit deeper. Come back up to center, let it go. Ha! Inhale, arms to the sky. As you exhale, let's fall forward and down, let something go. Inhale, lengthen to a flat back. And as you exhale, plant your hands down. We're gonna step into a high plank. So step your feet back, have your shoulders right above your wrists. Extend out through your shields and out through the crown of the head. So we're going to hold it here for a while, ladies. If this is too much, if you're feeling any back pain, please just lower the knees down. You could be here and send your heels to the buttocks. Make sure you're not up here because then there's not really any work going on. Keep your shoulders above your wrist. So this is great. Otherwise, staying up in our high plank. 
So taking it to whichever variation is good for you today. And just finding your breath here. Wonderful. Keep pushing your hands through the floor. Whichever variation you're in, push your hands into the floor. Keep drawing the navel to the spine. Nice strong breaths here. Reaching out through the heels, out through the crown. Know that you're building so much strength right now. I know, I know Sophie, she's like, how much longer? Just a little while longer, that's it. Building so much strength. Not just physical strength, but mental strength. So physically, you're so much stronger than what you think you are. So allow yourself to experience that inner power just by holding it a little bit longer. Remember, if at any point it's too much, just lower the knees down to the floor. Another five, four, lift the space between your shoulder blades, kick out through the heels, that's it. Three, two, and on one, everyone lower your knees down, knees far apart, feet together, reach back, child's pose. Come on to your fingertips and really sink those hips nice and easy in towards the heels, relaxing the whole body down to the floor. Forehead to the floor, chest, heart and belly down towards the floor. Just for a moment, give yourself permission just to completely soften. Nothing to do, no one to be, just let it go. Taking another three breaths here, nice and deep. Two more breaths. Deepest breath in, deepest breath out. Gorgeous. Firm there. Inhale, come forward. Let's come back up into high plank. I know, I did say it was about the core today. So send your right knee to the right upper arm and back. Left knee to left upper arm. And back. If this is too much, you could even be on your knees and just send it forward and back. And then the other knee forward and back. Just going to take eight more. So right knee forward and back. Eight. Left knee and back. Seven. Right knee and back. Left knee and back. Right knee and back. Nearly there. Left knee and back. Four more. Right knee and back. Left knee and back. Last two. Right knee and back. Left knee and back. Come up, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Big sigh out through the mouth. One more breath in. One more breath out. And your inhale, come forward into high plank. Send your right shoulder above your right wrist. Come into the outside edge of your right foot. Send your left arm to the sky, side plank. If this is too much, simply lower the right knee to the floor. This is already more than enough. And if your right knee is on the floor, send your left arm over the head and lift your left leg up. Stay here or come up into that side plank. Wherever you are, make sure your right shoulder is above your right wrist. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your core, lift a little higher. Get a little more fire in there. You guys are doing amazing. One more breath. Look down to the right hand, lower the left hand down. Straight away, let's go to the other side. So left shoulder above your left wrist, coming into the outside of your left foot. Right arm to the sky. If it's too much, left knee to the floor. Lift your right arm over the head and just lift that right leg up. That's more than enough. Stay here. We're coming up into that side plank. Wherever you are, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your core. Lift your hips a little bit more. Nice, ladies. Two more breaths. One more. Look down to the left hand. Come into plank. Take a breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. And just for a moment, allow your whole body to soften. Deep breath in. Exhale, side out. One more inhale. And exhale. Gorgeous. Allow your big toes to touch. Send your right leg to the sky just for a single breath. Right leg all the way up. And as you exhale, bend your right knee. Step your right foot forward in between your hands. And just lower your left knee down to the floor. Finding a stretch through the front of the left hip flexor. And maybe you're up here and that's great. Tuck your tailbone under. Feel a stretch through your left hip flexor. If it hurts your left knee, just double fold your mat. Otherwise, staying tall. Maybe left arm to the sky and reach up and over towards your right hand side. Stay here, come forward. So take it to where it feels good for you. 
Keep the navel drawing back in towards the spine so you're supporting your spine even in the stretches. Take another three breaths here. Maybe just close your eyes. And breathe a little deeper into the body now, finding that space. So we worked a lot today with finding power. Now allow ourselves to work with just creating space, sinking into those deep stretches. One more breath here. Go ahead, let's place the hands either side of your front foot. Send your hips back, find your right hamstring. So just finding a stretch here. If you can't reach your fingers down, maybe hold on to a wall or come all the way down to seated and start to fall forward. That's equally amazing. Otherwise, staying up here for another five breaths. Inhale, exhale. With each inhale, we lengthen the spine. And as we exhale, we go a little bit deeper. And remember that whether your nose is touching the leg or whether you're a little bit further away, it doesn't matter. Just go into a stretch that feels good for you. Your body is perfect just as it is. We all have different backgrounds and different abilities at different times in our life. So just be right where you are. Take another breath in. Exhale it out. Place your right hand on the inside of your right foot. And just send your right leg back to meet the left. Let's tuck the toes under. Let's meet up in downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Exhale out. Allow your big toes to touch now. Send your left leg high to the sky. Open up through the hips. Just nice big stretch here. Reaching the left toes up towards the sky. Reaching the chest towards the right thigh. One more breath in here. And as you exhale, bend your left knee. Let's step your left foot forward in between your hands. Lowering the right knee down to the floor. And again, either staying down here or lift it up. Take your tailbone under. Maybe left hand down. Send your right arm up. Reach up and over to the left. That should intensify the stretch around your right hip flexor. Slow your breath. So staying here, maybe coming forward a little bit more if that feels good. <clears throat> and just slow your breath down. Keep the core drawing back towards the spine as much as possible. One more breath in. Exhale it out. Go ahead, place your hands either side of your left foot. Let's find the left hamstring. So send your hips back now. Remember, you may need to have your hands on some different furniture or come all the way to seated if that feels better. But otherwise, stay upright and start to lengthen the spine. As you inhale, you lengthen the spine. As you exhale, you deepen that stretch. Five deep breaths now. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Nice. Twice more. Make them count. Inhale fully. Feel that stretch. Exhale. Surrender into that stretch. One more. Inhale. One more. Exhale. From there, go ahead. Place your left hand on the inside of your left foot. Send your left leg back. Come forward into all fours and I'm going to ask you to have a little bit of a free flow now. So I'm going to circle forward and out to the right and back. But if circling your hips doesn't feel good, maybe you just want to come into a child's pose or do a normal cat cow. If you are circling, maybe consider making it super juicy, opening up into a little up dog. Maybe hips all the way back into a down, sorry, into a child's pose. If you circled in one direction, Make sure you're circling into the opposite direction now as well. Maybe just close your eyes and just allow your body to move in whichever way that feels good for your body, just for a little moment. So rarely do we allow the body to move freely. Just allow yourself just a little moment here before we settle in again. One more breath. And then everyone, come down into your child's pose. From your child's pose, hold your hands back to your knees. Curl all the way up into seated, roll your shoulders back and down. Send your arms to the sky, inhale. Exhale, hands back down to the heart. One more, inhale, arms all the way up. 
Exhale, hands to your heart. Go ahead, interlace your fingers now. Place the hands behind your head. Keep your core engaged, but lift up through the chest and look up. So you're just opening up through the heart. Looking over to the right, back to center. Looking to the left, back to center. Keep opening up through the chest, just from side to side here. If you want a little bit more, you can lift your hips. Looking to the right, back to center and release. Lifting up, looking to the left, just nice and easy. Back to center and release. One more either side. So you make it as juicy or as intimate and calm as you like. Last side. Beautiful. Next time you come back, extend your legs out in front of you. Coming up towards the front of your mat. Grab hold behind your thighs. Slowly roll down through lower spine. Rolling down through middle spine. Rolling down through upper spine. Releasing all the way down. Relax your legs. Interlace your hands behind your head. Really lift and stretch the back of your neck. And then relax your head down. Take your thumbs and place your thumbs in the creases, the inner creases of your eyes, where your eyes meet your inner creases of your eyebrows. And lift up through that space. You should feel a nice little tension release there. Keep lifting up, 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 up. And then place your hands to your heart. Take another breath in. And as you exhale, arms by your side, side out. <sighs> you can walk your shoulder blades a little bit closer together. And then just allow yourself to completely let go. Just for a few moments. Just allow your body to relax, receiving all the gorgeous benefits of your practice today. See yourself lying in a wonderful forest. The temperature is just right, not too hot and not too cold. And as you lie here in this wonderful forest, smelling all the beautiful scents of the trees around you, cedar wood, sandalwood, pines, eucalyptus, there's a wonderful energy stream, a waterfall nearby. Just listening to the sound of the waterfall, gently refreshing you and revitalizing every single cell in your body. And just mentally release anything into that waterfall that is no longer serving you. Just let it go. And just allow yourself to rest and delight in this beautiful space that is you. Just for the next few moments. I will let you know when it's time to come out. But just for now, give yourself permission to simply rest. And know that as we rest, as you take this precious time out, you are recharging, refocusing your mind, your body, your emotions and your spirit. Just for a few more moments, simply enjoy. And just a final reminder here that letting go, which is what we're practicing right now, is just as important as tightening and building strength. Letting go is just as important as tightening and as building strength. Start to gently move your toes, move your fingers. Roll the head from side to side, just bringing in that beautiful fragrance and the wonderful energy of that beautiful forest meditation. Extend your body, arms over the head. Flex and point the feet. Whenever you're ready, give yourself a loving embrace. Knees to your chest, rock from side to side. Rolling over to the right hand side. Take a breath or two here. And then finally, come all the way back up into your seat, just as we did in the beginning. Sitting nice and tall. Send your arms to the sky. Inhale. 
exhale, bringing all that positive energy into your mind for clarity and calmness, into your lips for kind words to yourself and everyone else, and into your heart for unconditional love, forgiveness and compassion, and all the way into the earth as we give thanks for this beautiful practice. Hmm. Thank you so much. I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you so much, ladies. I'll come over Wednesday. Hello now.